Today, we're gonna to be looking at Chatbot Builder. We're gonna look at the key features, the pricing, and how you can get started in just a few minutes to start selling product and services with this Chatbot. Let's begin, first of all, what is this platform? Chatbot Builder allows you to easily create AI chatbots. Now, some of the features, there are a lot of things you can do with this. So before we dive in, these are the questions I would ask yourself because there are so many different things that you can do with this. Number one, I would ask yourself, put in the comments, write it down on a piece of paper. What do you want to accomplish? This is really important because using chat, Chatbot Builder, you can be using it for a restaurant. You can be using it for a food truck. If you're in real estate, there's so many different uses. So use cases. So I'd first break down, what do you want to accomplish? For example, if I am a real estate agent, am I trying to collect leads? Am I trying to collect leads for a certain property or region? What am I trying to do? If I have a food truck, am I going to be getting orders and I want to get orders from people paying using Apple Pay or PayPal? It's really important to be that specific because there are tons of things that you can do in, in Chatbot Builder and it can be a little bit overwhelming if you don't have all of these things in mind before you begin. Question number two, you might be asking yourself, what type of business is it? Again, we mentioned, is it brick and mortar? Is it gonna be e-commerce? Are you going to be selling your products and services? What is taking you too much time? This is important because when you're using things like a chatbot or AI, this allows you to gain superpowers. You can really scale yourself, but it's not going to do everything automatically. You're gonna to have to think about in your own business, what do you want to streamline? What do you want to automate? All of those different things. And the fourth thing I would consider is what repetitive tasks do you want to eliminate? Maybe you don't want to do follow-ups all the time. Maybe you want to just automatically uh, have someone when they're not buying an item, it will automatically remind them or nudge them that they have an item waiting for you. There's tons of different things. Do you want to also use text messaging? Those things are th all of those things you have to consider when you're using this platform. So after you do this, let's take a look at the pricing and get started. So let's scroll down to the pricing. So we have the demo, so you can use it for free for three days, no credit card needed. You can have a unified inbox, connect with your customers on all the channels, try all of our features. So really, if I'm looking at the demo for three days, they're not going to be um, a lot. They're not going to allow you to just use a few features. They're going to let you use all of them for three days before you decide to go pro if this is the right thing for you. Now, what are you getting with the pro feature? You can do you can have a no code conversational design. So you can do that with the workflows that they have uh, cross channel support. You can use this for Facebook, IG, text messaging, Telegram, email, voice. Uh, which is a nice touch. It allows you to even do a lot of integrations if you're uh, maybe making a call center or you're trying to uh, have a prompt where it's going to be voice and all of those things. You can do that with this platform. Um, let's see. You can also have sales and marketing automation, uh, Zapier, Make, and uh, Pavly. Am I saying that right? Integrations as well. So those are some things. Um, chat chat GPT powered support calls, powerful built-in analytics. Okay, so that's gonna be $49 per month. Now to keep in mind for the pro feature, no matter how many chatbots you create, for each chatbot that's going to be 49. That's important to note because if you're thinking, well, I'm going to need to create an agency where I'm having multiple accounts, there's those, that's also possible, but that's gonna be on another plan. And if you want more details, you can reach out to chatbot builder for those kind of uh, details. But for the simplicity's sake, for the pro, for $49, you're going to be able to create a robust chatbot for one entity or one business or something like that, okay? So $49. Now, to begin, what do we need to do? Well, you can sign up, and again, you can sign up for free to test it out, and then we're going to be taken here. Now, this is going to allow you to create a new account. Once you're here, you can decide how do you want to continue. Do you want to do a web chat, messenger, telegram? I'm just going to do web chat. Now, right here, the web chat, uh, the chat bot name, I'm going to say 
docs chatbot. I can spell. Okay, so I do that. It's going to say success, continue. And here I can see the different chatbots that I have. I created another one uh, over there, but for this demo, we have it right here. So docs chat, a chatbot. Now, as we look at this on the left-hand side, it's going to allow us to navigate the platform. We first get the analytics, the inbox, where we're going to see the different responses for our, for our chatbot, the flows. So we're going to be able to create a structure, a flow of what we want the chatbot to respond as, or what it's going to do as it progresses through the conversation, the contacts that you're going to have. Um, this is going to be, if you're collecting contacts or, or really anything that it's going to be gathering that data, you're going to have that right there. You're going to have a section for automated responses. So like canned responses, all of those things based on uh, different things that can happen. So you can have the user message and then also uh, the bot responses as well. Uh, broadcast, if you're going to be sending out messages, uh, bulk messages to contacts. Tools, tools is going to be interesting. This allows you to have, think about this as a section of different things that you can be doing for your, um, for your, your bot. So imagine this, I, I even think about this as just different um, ways you can use it or different templates or things that you're going to be able to use. So you can have templates here, but also e-commerce, appointment scheduling, event managers, places near me. These are all different actions or what the chatbot can do. So I almost see this as like uh, the tool belt of the different things that the chatbot can do. And then also you're going to have settings. So this is going to allow you to uh, be able to navigate and have more control over your chatbot that you're creating. All the channels that you're going to be having, all the integrations you're going to be having with the chatbot, admin, and then billing. So that's the progression. Now, now that we've looked at the features and what the platform has, let's take a look at seeing how it would be creating an e-commerce chatbot. So if I look on the left-hand side, we see that there's a section for e-commerce and I'm going to first create a product. So I'm going to say add and here I'm going to create a product and I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it docs tech audit and i actually have a product of that type so when i'm ask when i'm going over people's like startups or their app ideas it's a tech audit so i'm going to say docs tech audit i'm going to say reviewing your startup or app i'm going to say startup or side hustle yeah i'm going to just leave it there so I'm going to have the price. I'm going to say it's 210 taxes. I'm going to say 5%. I'm not going to have a discount here. Now images right here, I can go get images. So I'm just going to go to unsplash for a moment. I'm going to look at consulting. I'm going to go to an image that I like. And then I'm going to just screen, uh, do a screenshot of it. I'm going to return back to the page with too many tabs open. I'm going to upload the picture. It was a screenshot. I'm going to add it. And so we have the image here. They also have other information if I want to have it with like inventory and, you know, do all of those things. If, if I have a limited amount of products and I, I want to start selling that, that's important to have for tracking. And then you can also have other options as well. Um, and if you like these kind of videos and want to know more about chat builder, uh, chat bot builder, let me know in the comment section. I might do a follow-up video as well. If you want to see more in-depth videos like this, as you're building out your e-commerce store or any kind of feature. So I have this right here. I'm going to say save. And now I have the product. So from there, I can look at the settings here and I can, from the settings, I can look at number one, order is available. Ordering is available for this, so that's great. Web shop, it's gonna be a list. They can allow search products, so allow customers to send messages to find products, that's awesome. 
abandoned cart message, I can have it after 60 minutes, anything like that. Um, but also here too, I can decide on the payment method. So right here I have cash on delivery, but I can click the arrow, the down arrow, and I can also say that they can pay by PayPal, uh, you know, Apple Pay, whatever. So I can add those things as well if I want to. And then from there, I'm going to have the currency. It's going to be US, currency position left, have this, and I'm just going to say save. So now that I have that done, I can go back to products. I clicked on products. And then on the right-hand side, the three dots, I'm going to click that and I can get this where it says get link. And this allows me to get a link. And I want just the web chat link. So I have that. I'm going to go here. And this is for Docs Chatbot. It's going to be up. Okay. So I have this. And now, right here, I have it where it says Docs Tech Audit. So I can have someone add it to cart. So I can say cart right here or add to cart. And then it's going to say enter the quantity. I just want one tech audit. And then right here, it's going to say check out or continue shopping. I can say check out. And then it allows me to have a couple different options. Delivery to my address or pick up in store. Now, remember, this depends on the type of item that I'm going to create. So if I'm creating an item where they don't need to pick it up or it's just a digital product, I can have different details when we're talking about um, the settings and what's going to be happening um, with the shipping, right? So I clicked on, I'll go back, clicked on settings. I went to shipping options and now I can have the different shipping options. I can have delivery to a customer, pick up. Right now it's delivery to the customer and pick up. I'm going to say none. Now this will change it. But again, if I'm doing something with um, a digital product, I won't need to have them come to my place or send them anything so I can do that. And then once I have that done, I can just refresh the page and now they're going to see different options. So I can go ahead. I can go to the cart. I can go to checkout. And then right here we see gratuity, but right here it says pay on delivery, which right here it's showing that delivery of that digital good right there. So it's not going to be, you know, again, them coming to pick it up. And because I'm not, I didn't add the options yet for them to be able to pay with PayPal or anything like that. That's why we're seeing them. If we want to add different things, we can, and then that will change the outcome of what it will look like at the end when they check out and pay. So that's just one way. If someone is trying to render a pro, you know, a product or a service online, they can be doing this very easily with a chat bot right here. And this can just be the beginning of one of the avenues that they have with their business. You can have e-commerce, but you can also have them if they're going to be getting different messages. If they're uh, asking about something, they can get messages and then you can upsell them into a product if it's necessary, or you can prompt them after you give them the answer. Hey, I have a product or service, you know, search my products and services, and then it can come up that way. Tons of different ways that you can be using chat bot builder. Now in the comment section, let me know what do you plan to use it for? What questions do you have? Is this helpful for your business? What kind of business are you running? Let us know in the comment section. We're always trying to have different platforms for the audience to see if this is good for them. And again, if you like this kind of content, make sure that you like and subscribe. We do this every single week and I'll see you in the next video.